So in the last video, I got the E36 up and running. It's roadworthy. It's driving really, really well. And now that it seems like all that stuff is working as it should, the LS swap, the transmission, the clutch, the suspension, all that good stuff, it's time for more upgrades. First things first, gotta make a little road trip to Chantilly, Virginia. Pick up a big part for the E36. Let's hit the road. All right, boys, we are on the way to pick up the bolt-in roll bar for the E36. So we'll see what kind of fuel mileage we get there in the baby Duramax right now. So my average is 23.7 all time with the tune. And last 50 miles, we are at 21.6. We'll see how far we can bump those numbers up on this mostly highway trip. Alright gentlemen, got the roll bar, you can kind of see it peeking back there. It kind of looks like I have a roll bar to hold my spare tire, but that's not the case. So anyway, rain stopped, so that's good. All this thing home, take it out of the truck bed, take a look. Got about a three hour drive, almost. actually 33.3 I did average that for a bit so it's gone down uh, the back half of this trip we didn't we didn't best our our best score ever which was 35.7 that was with the stock wheels and tires so still over 30 miles a gallon round trip can't beat it can't beat that you will never get that in another off-road truck it's not possible oh these bed lights are so handy get this thing unstrapped And just like that, we're back in the garage with the E36. Uh, you saw the part that I picked up. I did get a bolt-in roll bar. This one is made by Neverlift Auto Fab. And it seems like a really, really nice, high-quality piece. Granted, I'll find out when I put it in and check fitment and all that. But unlike like some of the ones like Auto Power and stuff like that, this seems like a very, very nicely put-together kit. It has the X in the back, which a lot of them don't come with or it's an added option that costs more money. So I got this from uh, one of the Facebook pages for E36s. Paid 600 bucks for it. It's painted, and it's painted gunmetal. I like the color. Uh, I'm gonna get it powder coated eventually, but I need to get some other pieces that are gonna be powder coated as well. So for now, I'm just gonna bolt it in how it is, make sure it fits, and then eventually it'll come back out for some other interior upgrades. So that is upgrade number one. Upgrade number two, which is actually gonna go in before upgrade number one, is right here. Alrighty, here we have a new to me, but used steering wheel. This is suede, it is in a good condition. Probably gonna do a quick cleaning on it. Um, it's not really concrete, it's kind of more flat, that way it's not like in my face. We'll see how that fits. To go along with that, I've got the NRG short hub adapter. Got the race tech horn and the NRG quick release. So a whole bunch of parts here to install for the steering wheel. I think that's gonna be the first thing I do before I take the seats out and mess with the roll bar. And I already had a better steering wheel in my car, but this just fits better, you know? And with having the fixed back seats, it's kinda of hard to get in without moving the steering wheel. So let's get started.
Definitely would have been way faster if I would have just got a socket with this, <laughs> rather than the stupid Allen key. All right, well that part looks good. Now, pick the steering wheel to this. Figured it out. I want to cover this wire because if it touches ground, it sets off the horn. Moment of truth. Nice. Turn signal. Works. Cuts it off. Sweet. Everything is as it should be. Feels nice. Yeah, if I got a concave one, that would be way too close to me, for sure. First job done. Now the fun part, gonna take the seats back out to install the roll bar. I just installed these seats like a month ago. I could not recommend these planet seat brackets anymore. It took me literally probably three minutes to get that seat out. They're just designed really well. So easy. Alright, because I'll just pull the rear seats out. I don't think it's too difficult. There will be a delete going in there for the rear seats. I just have to figure out if I want to buy it, build it, which one, you know, it's a whole thing. I'm going to leave the actual backs in the rear seats, I think, just to help with sound until I get a delete panel in there. Not sure how it's in there. All right, I am extremely hot and sweaty in here, but we are bolted in the front, at least, on each, and it's, you know, solid. Still gotta do all the rears. So just eight more bolts to go, and then that part's done. Granted, still gonna put everything back together and do some little things here and there, but we're getting there. Looks pretty sweet, though. One side, focus, focus. What if I just broke my lens? Anyway, one side's done. Let's see if you can see in there, maybe not. I may have just broken my lens. That's all bolted in. Time for the other side. Cage fully installed now. Time for all of the little trim work. And I don't know what's going on with my camera. It's focusing fine now. So I'm gonna cut out the carpet to go around the base plate. Yeah, just like that. Fits around there pretty nicely. Now to put all the rest of this interior kind of back 
together. And I gotta clean all this again. I know I just cleaned the carpets, but now I've made it a complete mess once more. I wasn't initially planning on this, but I think I'm gonna put the rear seat back in, the bottom part, if it fits, just because I don't have a delete panel right now and it kind of looks janky without something being there. So I'm gonna see if it fits. Actually fits really well. I guess you could technically sit back there. Looks a little more finished now. I gotta put the front seat belts and all that jazz back in. Then we get to adjusting the seats and putting the seats back in. Seat belts are back in, fully bolted down and installed. Now you might be wondering why I'm putting seat belts, regular seat belts in this car when I have a roll bar, which is obviously set up for harnesses. Well, I don't have harnesses yet. I haven't even researched what kind I want. And this car is primarily going to be driven on the street, so just I just want like a regular seat belt just to, you know, click on and off, easy peasy. And it fits really well with this cage. I mean, it, it barely fits, but it does. Time to adjust the seats and then put them back in the car. Driver's side's pretty simple. Oh. I just want to lean it back just a hair. Probably, probably just going to bring this notch down one. I don't know if I'll raise the front. Probably just bring this down. Never mind, can't go down anymore. So I'm gonna have to lift the front up a little bit. We'll see how that works out. Probably not gonna be a huge difference. You can see the old line here. Just brought the front up, so I should get a little more reclining out of it. Worst case scenario, it's not that hard to pull the seat back out. It takes five minutes, it's easy. Time for the passenger side. Now this is a little bit different because I actually want to shift the whole thing towards the center console a little bit. So this part on the opposite side, this is just like barely rubbing the door panel. I want to fix that. All right, hopefully that fixes that problem. I moved it, I don't know, maybe like an inch max. Now I want to do the same thing. I kind of want to tilt it back a little bit, if I can. be tilted. Tilted more than the driver's side because I want up in the front and down in the rear. Test fit coming. Looks good with the cage. And now, I don't know if you saw it before, but we close with clearance now. Good to go. It's hot out today, but let's get the driver's side done. Boys, seats back in, cage in, new steering wheels in. First time, I'm gonna sit in it. <sighs> oh yes, let's get in position here. Oh, that's money. That is absolutely money. Would you look at it? Just look at this thing. Does this or does this not look and feel like a race car? But a streetable race car. Just chilling here, right? Pull the steering wheel off. You want to get it out of the way. Just even for working on the car, that's going to be so easy. Especially because this area up here is going to be changing soon. 
that's it. She just snaps right back on. This energy kit was pretty nice. There's definitely a lot of mixed reviews on it. It seemed to be missing a little bit of hardware, no instructions, kind of just had to figure some stuff out on your own. But now that it's in here, the short hub with the quick release is, is good. It's a nice setup in an E36. Granted, I don't have an airbag and I didn't have an airbag. So it all just bolted in, horn, horn works. Of course the key has to be on, but it does have this nice horn button. So it still passes inspection here in PA. Plus you should probably have a horn in a street car anyway, but it just looks really, really nice. And it's a good position. Now it did bring it forward a little bit towards me, but generally it's in a good spot. Had I have gotten a concave wheel, it wouldn't have worked, but it would have been way too close to me. That's for sure. Just look at that cage back there. The logo there in the middle, just chilling. This, this feels right. Wish you could see the cage a little better on camera, but it's, it's dark and the seats are in the way and everything. But anyway, so this is my seat position and this is it where I keep it. So you can see there's plenty of room here for a taller person of like average height. So even if you were like 6'5", I mean, I think you're still gonna have room. Super, super happy about all of it. The fitment of the cage was excellent. Went, went basically right in. I'll show you guys underneath here. There, that's the plate basically underneath on both sides and then in the rear under the tires is the same thing. Overall, very, very nice bolt-in roll cage kit. It took a while to install, which I figured it would be a pain, but now that it's in, very happy with it. Steering wheel, super pumped about the steering wheel too. It just looks right at home. Now, what I said earlier about the cage, it will be coming back out at some point because I wanna get a front strut bar, a rear strut bar, one that ties in with the subframe. I wanna get all that stuff and maybe brake calipers all powder coated the same color. I do believe I still want to do some kind of gray like it is, but I wanted to test fit it and make sure everything works. I didn't want to put it in the car after getting it powder coated and then find out that it like doesn't fit or something. Test fit went well. It's not going to be hard to pull it back out. When I do pull it out, the plates underneath, I'm going to get them powder coated as well. You can see there's a little bit of like surface rust on them as to be expected outside of the car underneath. And then I'm going to get all new stainless steel hardware for all that. It came with bolts, but they were used and they're not all, they, they, they weren't all the same. So that kind of bothers me. So at some point, we get that all taken care of at the same time. Do you want to put a headliner? And I want to get all the B pillars in with a new headliner, probably Alcantara, and just make it all look like a very, very nice streetable track car. And then obviously rear seat delete as well. For now, I'm going to leave it because it looks decent. Obviously, no one's going to sit back there. That would be a little ridiculous, but it looks better than having nothing. I just gotta figure out, do I wanna buy a rear seat delete or do I wanna build one? On that note, guys, I'm gonna go for a little drive, run some errands in that, see how it's like, get some nice photos maybe, maybe take you guys along for a little ride. That's gonna wrap up this video. I do have more mods actually sitting around here. If you have a keen eye, you might be able to figure out what they are. There's another set of mods that are five weeks back order, so we'll see whatever that shows up. Um, also need to, fix my side skirts. They're not attached very well because I never had the templates to install them, so they're just on there with double-sided tape. See the tape starting to fail. I actually got templates shipped from overseas to do that the right way. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Race car time.